Women who have ever utilized the service of a male prostitute, what was the experience like? Reading the comment section is difficult. I'm going to offer an answer. Though I have never paid for male escorts a fairly well-off and incredibly attractive friend of mine has. She has a high-powered career and is traveling the majority of the year. Her sights are focused on building her career as quickly as possible so she doesn't currently have time for a relationship. She has paid for male escorts several times a year. Her reasoning is that she would rather have no strings attached sex with a professional rather than risk being disappointed and go through the motions of getting ready for a night out going to the bar, etc. She explained to me that efficiency and reliability is everything. She is able to request an up-to-date STD test prior to the date and can expect complete discretion. All you people saying women shouldn't have to pay for sex are valid, but if you want some quality control it makes sense to pay a premium. As a male prostitute sex worker it's rare to get hired for a simple one-on-one -on -one interaction and it's more for things like birthdays, bachelorette parties, etc. But when I do get hired one-on-one -on -one it's more for people who want the experience instead of desperation or things like that. I was at a very low point in my life while I was living in Mexico. Mexico has an abundance of sex work and prostitution. I paid a male prostitute just to cuddle and have him listen to my feelings. It was a good experience. I was just out of a marriage that had turned sexless for the final years and my sex drive came back with a vengeance. I had a terrible Tinder date that made me feel super unsafe, so I booked a sex worker. He was delightful and lovely and I felt safe and in control. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. I saw him twice then met my partner shortly thereafter but it was a great experience and I was so happy I did it. Here we can see a clear Reddit moment where someone asks women something and men are quick to answer for them. My boss hires them for herself all the time and as her EA I have to book the guy, she uses him so regularly we just call his personal number and he knows me by name. Nice guy TBH. They have these sort of gigolos in exotic vacation areas like Jamaica for example that cater to older, wealthier women who are looking for the whole nine yards, not just sex. It's the company, romance and sex they are paying for. This sort of thing is rare as you can imagine but there are women looking for a good time with company and an exotic male to do it with as the women themselves may be single or something. I don't think you're going to get a lot of responses for two big reasons. One because the women who typically hire prostitutes, older with money, are probably not hanging out on Reddit. The other is because there's a lot of shame involved in a woman paying for sex. If you look at these comments there are a lot of people talking about how women can get laid any time they want and would never need to pay for it. If a woman were the type of person who would need to pay for it, or want to, this probably isn't the place they'd feel comfortable admitting it. A good friend was a male escort. Most his gigs were by very attractive yet professional ladies that didn't want to deal with the hubbub of dating. He was a legit escort, so no sex was implied. He'd get hired for parties and occasions where a date coming would be appropriate. He also mentioned if they struck his fancy and offered a tip at the end of the night, sex wasn't out of the question. To the men that keep saying w o m at n c and g at s x n e t n e t hey w ant like, okay? But what if she wants to come? I'm a female sour who is bisexual. I have hired other female providers for myself in the past but a few years ago, I decided to book a male escort. I booked a dinner date. It was hilarious because he worked for an agency and he knew nothing about me, save my name. I had been seated at the bar while the table was being prepared and he walked past me twice. He thought I was going to be some weird older lady, so he said. We had a nice dinner, he was a true gentleman. We did end up having sex. He was exceptionally good looking but had a huge dick. I prefer a more average size, it's much more comfortable for me. I did reveal I was also an escort and we had a good laugh. I never had before but it would probably be a better experience than going on Tinder slash meeting some guy who will give you the bare minimum and leave when they're satisfied. Here, you dropped this, serious. I know I'm not a woman, but given the lack of real responses in here. My wife and I have hired a male sex worker on two occasions. We had a couple of regular, in, unpaid, MFM threesomes previously, but they're hard to organize and kind of have to be a two-way street if that makes sense. With the sex workers, we were able to explore ourselves more, a chance for me to see if I was as interested in experimenting with a guy IRL as I was in my head, and a chance for her to focus on her own pleasure from two guys without needing to try and satisfy them quite so much which she had found distracting previously. 
and all with no strings. All told, we definitely do it again as we both got a lot out of the experience, but it's much harder to organize than a similar, paid, MFF3 score given the lack of people doing the job. And the males who do do this sort of work have, in our experience, either been very straight, focused on the older wealthier female clientele mentioned in a lot of these replies, or very gay and not wanting a woman in the room. As such, it's not something we've done for some time now, even though we'd like to. I should mention that we are from Australia where this is all quite legal and reasonably safe for all concerned. Obligatory not what you asked for but, but I've always wanted to hire a prostitute, as I see it as my only possibility to get laid. I haven't once in my life been hit on, flirted with, given a compliment, or had any other sort of intimate or sexual contact with a man. And at 32, I long for it desperately, but realize it won't happen unless I pay someone for their services. The only reason I haven't done so yet is because buying sex is illegal here, and there are barely any straight male escorts anyway, at least not on the major escort classified sites. I wouldn't really have any expectations, and I don't even believe it'd be particularly good. I'd imagine the situation would be extremely awkward to me, and I could easily see it ending up with me just wanting to hang out for a while, cuddle and talk, and probably being happy with that. I'd really just want to be seen and touched by a man who at least would pretend that he enjoyed my company. This is the most toxic and empty comment section ever, it's like if Chernobyl happened in Nevada. I'm disappointed by these answers, yet unsurprised. Reddit and all. I used to have such bad self-confidence, worth, etc., that I didn't even think I could pay anyone to sex me up. I also know of a couple people who would use the internet to even learn the proper name of their genitals. One once said they'd consider paying a male prostitute to show them how things work. Luckily, we've all gotten help and are in better places. The internet helped a lot. I don't think I'd mind a visit with one to learn more so things aren't super duper awkward and potentially painful. Our society does a horrible job at teaching the basics, yet expects us all to just know how to make and pop out kids. I want to, I want a professional who knows what he's doing. If I had the money, it would be on my terms. I'm so sick of fending off men that I don't want. I don't have any confidence at all and sick of being used. I considered it a few times but never went through with it. It was a time in my life that I was feeling very insecure about my body and decided that if I was ever going to experience sexual pleasure again, I had better damn well pay for it to at least make it worthwhile for the male. I'm a woman who dated one. AMA. He did mostly erotic massage, with some full service, and he said his clients were like 80-20 male to female, though he was mostly straight in his personal life. This was all going on while we were dating. I didn't mind his profession, was kinda into it, honestly, but he just wasn't all there. It's hard to describe. He was just needy slash wannabe white knight Y in a way that made my skin crawl. Reading the comments I see a surprising need for professional, compassionate, sexually flexible male escorts. If I liked sex or people I'd consider it. LOL. I am honestly thinking about losing my virginity to a prototute one day. I have heard so many bad things about the first time, I think having a professional there might be a good idea. So typical. Question is for women, first response from a dude. 1968 or 9 was the year. I met this charming cowboy figure at a psychedelic club in NYC. I paid him handsomely. Too many angry men here. May your day be filled with joy and happiness. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more quality content every day.